and uh, obviously um, oop height on the sides here. Hey campers, George here, uh, back from the camping trip in southeast uh, Minnesota down at the old barn. Went on the family camping trip, the kids came up from San Diego County and we spent a couple of days out there camping. Always a good time, a video will be coming so look out for that one. But I'm out here on my daily walkabout, um, out of the Riverbend uh, Nature Reserve. I uh, come out here every day and do my three miles and just wander around. I love this place and I've been taking video of it and everything like and, that. Um, I'd mentioned before in a video before that um, I had bought a bush box and a top. Um, so while I was at the camp, uh, campgrounds uh, I took a walk, found a little place and uh, did a quick video um, having a look at the bush box. So this is what the video is all about. Now while I was here I was just messing around with some wood and I picked up a couple of pieces of uh, wood lying on the trail as I was walking in and I was making these and basically you can see them they just uh, sticks that I had uh, carved up rounded the edges and everything and uh, you can see in the middle I actually just carved out a little bit so there's an indentation basically these are toggles and I'm planning on doing a video on the top that I bought and it has tags on it, those little things so that you can tie it to a, um, a little loops all over it in strategic position so that I could, uh, you can tie it up to, uh, for example, a ridge line or something like that. And I wanted to use the prusset knot when, when using the top on a ridge line and that, as I showed in a video before, um, the prusset knot allows you to slip it up and down and then when you pull from the tire side it really uh, latches down on the ridge line. And I didn't want to have to tie knots. And what I wanted to do was use the little toggles on the, um, these little toggles on the top and the tags that it has using the prusset knot and put them through. So I just made up a couple of them and I'm going to try them out. So I mean you can pick up pieces of stick and, and use them as toggles and they work fine but hey I thought I'd be prepared when I go out there and so I made these up so these will be for the top but anyway let's go and have a look at the bush box taking a walk on the trail going to walk down here see if I can find a nice little quiet place. I want to make a quick video. I've got a new toy <laughs> from Amazon. Something I've been looking for and that is the bush box. And I want to pull it out and give it a try and see how well it works. So yeah. Bear with me then. We'll give her a test. What's the worst that going to happen? I have to drink cold tea. <laughs> hmm. Taking a little shortcut here, actually looking for a place, but it's not much around, but this is a really nice, pretty out here. As you can see, there's a big field here. I think it's actually a private property, so <laughs> I'm trying to cut across to the the trail, the state trail up here. Pick that up and follow that along and see if we can find somewhere there. But it is very nice out here. So, so the plan is to show you the new bush box and what I did was uh, I grabbed my military surplus canteen 
canteen cover. Got some water. It's a nesting system. So it does have a nesting cup. Have a spoon. The bush box. A lid. And in the pocket here, I have some tea right here. And what I did as well was I just, when walking here, I brought a little plastic bag and filled it with some uh, small tinder. So we can at least get going. We'll probably have to collect some more as we wait for it to boil. But that's the plan. So stay tuned. So here we have the bush box. Uh, this is how it comes. It comes in a cotton bag, 100% cotton, which I thought was a nice touch. It fits in there nice and small, as you can see. And uh, inside, you have the bush box. And you have, it comes with a card. And in the card, they give you their website. It's actually a sticker. And uh, there's a business card. And it shows you where you can find the instructions for it. It doesn't come with the instructions and they tell you to go to their website and look it up on there. Which was a little disappointing. Um, it would be nice to have a little card that goes with it. So anyway, we got one, two. three, four sides and we have the ash tray which goes in the bottom and then you have the tray on top where you would put your fuel and these little things which sit on top where you would put your can um, that you're heating up so these go on top so that's basically it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, eight pieces. It's fairly light. This one is made in Germany. It's the original one. Um, it's, it's actually pretty well done. I believe it's stamped out. I'm not sure. Maybe it'd be um, etched a little bit. And it has little catches on it and that, which was a nice test to keep everything together. It makes it a little difficult to take apart if you're not used to it and haven't read the instructions. But you can see I have tried it already. I just put it together and gave it a quick try. Didn't do anything. Just got a fire going in it and checked it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it together. And then we'll uh, make a cup. Okay, so to put it together... Um, you want to get the two big sides, these two here with the little symbols on it, and you want the two sides. This is obviously where you put the fuel, so it uh, has a little opening there. This is made out of stainless steel. I'm not sure how thick it is, two or three millimeters. Sturdy. So... Let's put it together. And as you, you see the little notches on the side here will slide into each other like this. See it goes together like that you start off with that and then you're going to put the uh, actual where your fuel is going to sit goes into these two slots here built into the sides you can see them there and then your ashtray goes in the bottom and you can see it has little ink and will stick out points stick out there it goes together like that and then you're going to put your last side on which uh, goes on like that and then these 
sit on top. Now there's two ways to put them in. You've got slots. So as you can see on, on these, they have a, a long side and a short cut in it. And that depends on what size of pot you're using. So if you put it like the long slide down, the, uh, the top edge lines up just fine. The problem with that is, is that if you have a big round pot and you sit it on there, it's going to block the whole top end, and this is a chimney setup. So when you put your fuel in, um, the heat comes up like this. If it's blocked, it's got nowhere to go, and you're going to put the fire out, and the smoke is uh, going to smoke out the fire. So the idea is, is that if you have a small enough one that has room, you can see I have these gaps. So it shouldn't be too bad. I would use this. If I'm using a big pot, you can turn these over and you can see they sit a little higher off the edge and that gives you the gap for the, the heat to rise out of. So what I'm actually going to do is, because this is a little bigger, I'm going to try it this way with the uh, it raised. It's going to sit like that. So now what I have to do is get some kindling which I have here, I collected already. And we're gonna put it in, in here and get it going. I'm gonna put it at an angle here so you can see what's going on. And hopefully we'll get this thing going. Get this all together and get some kindling here and hopefully get it going. And then we'll put some water in and make us a cup of tea. I do have my favorite Tazo tea, so. That's what we're going to be making. So let's get this thing going. And then what we're going to have to do is get some fire. And I'm going to do it the old fashioned way using a big lighter. We learn as we go. That's what we do. So. I don't have a fire starter or anything with me, so bear with me here. So that was very traumatic. Unfortunately, my tinder I brought was a little wet, but we eventually got it going. Um, some things about it um, I like the design it's a great idea I think it works well the packing is what appealed to me how small it is it's fairly light and it's made of uh, stainless steel so the thing I liked was um, hopefully I won't need a lot of fuel and if I can get it going with little sticks and stuff I'm way ahead of the game obviously it would be a lot easier if I'd had a fire starter with me, um, be it uh, cotton ball, petroleum jelly, that would work, I think, fairly well here. So that's something to take into account. It's been on there now about just over a minute. So uh, let's see what happens. Now, they did say that um, you're probably going to need to uh, keep the fuel uh, loaded up in there. So. I'm just going to break up a couple of sticks here. Maybe some bigger ones to go a little bit more. And uh, let's get them in there. I can actually hear the water starting to boil already. So uh, with all the coals in the bottom... pretty easy to keep the fuel going if it dies out with all those coals so uh, we'll keep that going let's see what happens maybe have us a good little cup of tea
and it's got enough ventilation with the holes cut into it and uh, obviously um, oop height on the sides here as you can see wow it's a little warm over here it has their uh, their logo printed out which allows wind to come through and um, obviously the more wind uh, coming through will help the fire burn harder I can tell you that it does burn pretty hot so let's have a look here at this quickly it's a little warm and yeah it's starting to boil already so that's not bad three or four minutes and it's going pretty strong so let's see what happens and uh, give it a few minutes so there it is um, a couple of things I think you do need a fire starter to use it so that's one thing um, but it does work well it boiled the water really quickly had my cup of tea and uh, it takes a while to cool down this gets really hot so you have to you can't just pack it up and off you go afterwards you need to let it cool down pouring water or something on it I don't think would be good because I think it may affect the steel um, by cooling it too quickly and may distort something and then you might have a problem but in all in all nice little thing I'm glad I got this look forward to using it maybe I'll do a backpacking soon and there you can see let me get it for you made in Germany bush box very nice taking it apart these come off and this is where it gets tricky um, I'm gonna try and show you this but there's a little tab right there that's the trick to this to get it apart you have to get it past that tab to lift it up so um, you've got to put a little bit of force on that tab and get it past that little notch and it's not as easy as it looks so I always struggled with this part but there you can see I've got it apart there same thing on this side there's that little tab you can see it there so by just bending it a little bit side comes off it is not as easy as it looks and uh, so be careful with that it does have some sharp edges on it which may cut you if you don't pay attention so um, this side as well you've got the two little uh, notches on there and that's what you've got to get past to get it undone so there you go yeah, let's see here and there we go gonna get it all put together here and back into the bag and then we're off back to the campsite gonna go and have lunch with the kitties hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share subscribe always uh, appreciate you guys watching my videos this will be a full-length separate video to the camp trip I'll, I'll probably show a bit of it on the camp trip but um, it will be a separate video so hopefully we'll see you soon just saying thanks bye